right. It looks really nice. It's just this this journal was made for me. You know what I mean? Your dreaming vision board. How adorable is that? Oh no, I can't. Oh no, I can't remove this. People of the internet, I hope you are all doing well. Today I am going to do a Dollarama haul because I just went to the dollar store and got some nice cheap things, most of which are home decor and stationery. I'm also sanitizing each item as I show it with some alcohol and paper towel because we don't know what kinds of germs are on them. So I'm going to start with the bigger items first and go from there. So the first item is this bamboo basket. Looks like this. It's really just simple. Fits my aesthetic so I really like this and I plan to put all of my current reads in this basket so they're kind of more organized and then I also have another basket that I got this was actually one of the last ones on their shelves so this one is woven basket I don't know what kind of um, material this is but it's quite sturdy I really like it. Again, it matches my aesthetic, so yeah, and I need a lot of um, organizers and boxes and all of that. So this one was a really good find and I, I just really like it a lot. So let's sanitize this. These two first. I have this bottle right here. It says um, it's a jasmine body cleanser, but it's not a body cleanser. It's just we just reused this bottle. It's actually alcohol. I actually thought that this one was a body cleanser. I almost used it on my body. But good thing I was curious about the smell. So I was like, okay, let me smell first if it actually you know, is jasmine. And then when I smelled it, it was alcohol, which was good I smelled it because I literally almost like put it on my body when I was in the shower. You wanna sanitize this because, you know, a lot of people have touched it and just, you don't know what they touched before they touched this and just we, we want to be safe at the same time so it's just it doesn't really smell very um the smell is strong that's why I just want to make sure that Yep, the smell is quite strong But it does its job Let me just remove this as well I don't ruin the um, can I just rip it? I can. I don't know why I'm using a okay. So that's good. Let me just put a little bit more. Okay. Just to make sure that everything's good. Okay. 
I actually plan to use this um, on my desk here, like this, as an organizer, so it looks, I don't know, nice because this desk is actually really plain. So yeah, but we'll see where I will end up putting this one. But for now, they will be over here. So those are the first two that I got. I also got this one. This um, is another organizer basket in um, light beige cream kind of color. So again, let's just sanitize that one quickly. This one is much easier to sanitize because of the um, material. I can put some sticky notes in here, markers and all that. Or I can actually put this outside in the kitchen and just kind of put um, coffee things in here, but we'll see. And then I have this thing right here, which is a bamboo drawer organizer. Oh, it is stackable too. I see, I see. And they have some utensils on the picture, so I am going to assume that they made it for that, but I'm not going to use it for utensils. It was technically sealed, but I'm still just going to sanitize it. This one as well, I plan to put on my desk as an organizer because I'm an organizer kind of person. I like, I like it when things have their own home, basically home. easier to find things that way when you know where things belong. So let me just, let me just put that there and then here, here, there. Okay, stay there. And then next, I have two of these boxes. Um, so yeah, this is just kind of like a craft box, again, for organizing small things because I don't want them to be cluttered and all over the place. So I'm just going to wipe that a little bit. I don't want to put more alcohol on the tissue paper just because this is also kind of like paper um, so if it gets wet it will destroy the box and we don't want that okay so what i actually plan on doing is i want to oops i'm sorry i want to put this box like this inside. It fits because I measured it while I was at the store. So kind of like that and then put it there maybe or here, something like that. Um, just because it looks quite organized that way. So I'm gonna put you here. And then, 
I also got other home decor, small home decor. So the next thing that I got was this one. It's like a small jar and if you take off the lid, it actually lights up and it's so pretty. I mean, look at that. How pretty is that? So yeah, and then it says faith keeps us strong. Um, yeah, I just really like, oh, let me just remove this. There, so that's, that's what it looks like. Let me put some more alcohol here. it's clean and there so this is nice decor at home super small so it doesn't take up a lot of space I can even put it here and then the other things that I got are these fake succulent plants I mean don't get me wrong I love succulents like real ones but sometimes it's just less stressful to have fake ones because you never have to worry about keeping them alive like this one I also got from the dollar store a long time ago actually it's not me my dad got it for me from the dollar store so I never have to worry about this in my life. I don't want to wet it too much because again it might ruin the um it's like a cardboard paper. There. Okay, and it looks really pretty really pretty as decor so I like it quite a lot okay and then next I got this um, file folder organizer these um, what do you call this? A protective sheets. It has 30 sheets and at the very back, it has this um, envelope pocket, which I really like. My mom got one, actually my mom got like eight of these and I got like three or four of these because we are planning to reorganize a lot of our um, files and important documents and all that. So I plan to have um, medical records in one folder and a lot of other documents in another folder. Um, so yeah, I think this will be very um, useful. However, I still don't know where I'm going to put them afterwards because I have currently four, I guess. I can't show you what's inside because the three other ones are already filled with important documents. So for privacy purposes, I cannot show them, but that's what it looks like. It's actually quite heavy and I just don't know where to put this because it can't really stand on its own and I want to have um, a magazine folder file file holder magazine holder for this but we'll see because I couldn't find one at the dollar store so I might have to try it at a different dollar store or I might have to go to Walmart and see and if not maybe Amazon um, but yeah, this one was really helpful. Um, 
and I plan to put um, a cover page for this so I know which one is which. So yeah. The next one I got, I actually already opened. This one is a whiteboard. It's a small whiteboard just for my desk. Um, just so I can kind of see the calendar right away. I don't have to check my phone every time I need to see the date. This is also magnetic and it comes with these two black and white zigzag magnets not sure if I'm actually gonna use this I might transfer this somewhere else but I I just really like this one so I can see my schedule right away I plan to use this for doctors appointments or any kind of important events and also um, scheduling my YouTube videos so yeah this is also really really light The next thing that I have are these wooden panels. This is what it looks like. I think you're supposed to actually paint on it because it says artist's panel. So, I mean, I can actually paint on it, but I don't want to. Yet, I might change my mind, but I am planning to kind of just maybe write a quote or print a quote or something on here or keep it like really minimal and not too flashy and you know, all that. So I have this and then so two of the square ones. I have two of that and then I have one rectangular one so yeah i plan to put it up on my wall just like here here maybe or like here or up there I was kind of like already visualizing it on my head while I was at the store. But we'll see where it ends up going. Did you hear that noise? That is um, my neighbor's car. I do not throw the um, silica gels right away, if at all, because I use it for um, flower drying purposes. If I don't have a silica gel, I would use rice. But I'd rather use a silica gel because I eat the rice and I'd rather eat it than use it for flower drying purposes. So yeah, I don't know if I should still sanitize this because it was sealed anyway. But you know what? Let's just let's just sanitize it. Oops. Just gonna sanitize that. to be careful because it has like those little wood particles and I don't want to get into my skin okay so let's put that here there 
And then the next thing that I got is a book, but it's not something that I would actually read. This is a Homebrew World includes more than 30 recipes um, by Joshua M. Bernstein. Discover the secrets of the world's leading home brewers. And it's basically just brewing alcohol, I would say. And yeah, I mean, I'm not really interested in it, but I bought it for home decor purposes. This was $4 at Dollarama. And look at how aesthetically pleasing in the eyes this thing is. Like the wooden kind of design. And it's just, it looks, it looks really nice. Okay, so I plan to actually add this to the kitchen as, you know, some touch of, I don't know, some kind of nice, rustic wooden decor we don't really drink drink my family um but it's just it's just nice addition as a home decor so that's why i bought this i really like it really really like it okay so And then the next ones that I have are notebooks. I got some notebooks as well because you know me, I love notebooks. I love stationery. And so first thing that I got was, you know, wooden texture kind of thing. This is just a notebook. It's a plain notebook, nothing special, um, but it's a nice, again, addition. I just can like leave it on my desk and it doesn't look really messy at all because it looks really nice. So I love that and it has this elastic at the back so you can keep it closed. And um, this ribbon page marker. So I really like that. And then, next thing I got is this journal. That says Grateful Journal. This is a gratitude journal. A journal to reflect on the good things in life. So, it has quality hardcover, 160 pages, 120 GSM, which I really like. And two ribbon markers over here. So this is what it looks like. This is a gratitude journal. It has a table of contents and then how to use the journal, benefits of gratitude, a reverse bucket list, people in your life that you're grateful for. I'm just so excited to fill this up. And some quotes as well. It's just really, really nice. My gratitude vision board. It's just this this journal was made for me, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, and you can add you, the date and then the three things you're thankful for. And you can just write it down. And it's actually from January, I believe? Yes, January to December. I know it's already September. Um, I don't really mind starting in September. So I'm just gonna start in the middle. I don't really mind. Um, and just continue on until, I guess, August next year. So I have that. And the next one is kind of like um, a pair of this one. They're like partners. So this one's the gratitude journal. This one is the dreams journal. Um, first, I actually thought that this was uh, like a dream 
journal where you put your like literal dreams when you're sleeping but it's actually like a goals kind of journal so it says here don't be pushed by your problems be led by your dreams again it has two page markers 160 pages 120 gsm it has two ribbon markers quality hardcover just like the other one and this one is like dusty pink and by the way the cover is like velvety so that's what it looks like dreams journal table of contents you have quotes how to use this journal passion and purpose your dreaming vision board there it is and then 101 dreams index and then one year of i guess short-term dreams so that's what it looks like i'm really excited to use it so before we move on let's sanitize all four of these first and then do the towel just put a little bit This was actually at the very top shelf in the books section. It was really hard to get and I couldn't find anyone to help me. I mean, there were staff there, but they were also like not very tall. So I just figured I would borrow a stool from the other aisle. And then I just kind of like took it and used it to get this book. And then I just put it back afterwards. Oh, I can't. by Jane Corey and this is like a thriller mystery does it have murder maybe not sure I don't think so but mm, I was quite intrigued and this was only three dollars but if you actually buy it here in Canada it's twenty three dollars plus tax so three dollars is I don't know how it's so cheap, but I guess it's because of this. It's like the excess stuff, something like that. So yeah, good deal, good deal. So I have this, my husband's wife. 
by Jane Corey. And the next one, I have this thing called The Dinner List by Rebecca Sterling. And this one is about a girl, I guess, who gets to meet the people that she would want to have dinner with. Like, we've all answered that question once, right? Like, who do you want to have dinner with, whether dead or alive or whatever? Like, for me, I would want to have a dinner with Namjoon of BTS. <laughs> and perhaps some of my favorite authors. Maybe some of my favorite fictional characters as well. So yeah, that's kind of how I understood the synopsis of it. And I just really like how it's $3. And I don't really read a lot of contemporary. And so why not, right? It's three dollars. This one says $9.99, but it's only three dollars. And then I have Head Over Heels by Hannah Orenstein. And this one is like a gymnast girl who's coaching another girl, and then they're like it's it's a romance book. Um, so it's called Head Over Heels. Um, I'm not sure if I'm actually going to read this book. Again, I got it for $3. I don't know if I'm actually going to read this book. I bought it for the cover because it, it will look good when you display it. Um, it's like buying home decor for $3. So I'm not sure if I'm going to read it, but cover looks really cute so i like it and so i bought it the next one is this how adorable is that i love dog novels by the way i love them it's just they make me cry a lot but i still love them so this one is joint custody um by lauren baratz logsted and jackie logsted and the spine has these like paw prints how cute is that so it says a mischievous dog takes matters into his own paws <laughs> how cute is that when his beloved owners split up in this offbeat romantic comedy so i'm guessing his paw rents um split up and he is going to plan to kind of bring them back together or something like that. I don't know, we'll see. I'm definitely excited to read this one. And look how cute this is. So yeah. And then the last book that I got is also a dog book. And I've actually already read this one. This is The Art of Racing in the Rain. Um, meet the dog who will show the world how to be human is now a major can you oh no i can't oh no i can't remove this it's like on the cover okay whatever the art of racing in the rain by garth stein um this one i've already finished again got it for three dollars i read this February, I believe, this year or something because I was just scrolling on TikTok and I saw a trailer of the movie and then I found out that it was actually from a book based on a novel. So I just borrowed the novel from my library and I decided to read it and it made me cry a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Like, I cried for a good 30 minutes after finishing the book and it just, it's still touches and melts my heart up to this day and I plan to reread it sometime soon. So I actually plan to order this from Chapters. So I was super shocked when I saw this at the back of the shelf in the book section in the, um, the at the Dollarama store because I wasn't really expecting to find this because this 
is 20 Canadian dollars plus tax, but I only got it for $3. So that was a really good deal. So let me just sanitize the books as well. Make sure they're all good. Oops. The dog in this book, if I remember it correctly, is actually not a golden retriever. Like some kind of terrier or pit bull or something. Now, I don't think he was even gold. But I guess they used a golden retriever because a lot of people like golden retrievers. I do prefer pit bulls, however. Like American bullies are like my favorite dog breed, I would say, because they're just, I just find them so, so adorable. So yeah, these are all of the things that I got from the dollar store. Now they're all sanitized and I'm gonna also just sanitize my hands. And well, I will also wash my hands after this. I will probably make another video decorating or redecorating my desk area but that is it for now i hope you guys enjoyed this sit down talk with me sanitize with me dollarama haul please like comment and subscribe only if you want to i'm not forcing you and i will see you in my next video have a great day bye